Hey, it's Ronan Segal, your accordion teacher. I have my headphones on and I have a request for the song Clico by Beirut. I've heard the song before. I don't know if I've ever played it correctly. Let me show you how I figure out the song. There are, I think, are three or four distinct parts to the song. Let's walk through it. Uh, there is no sheet music for this song. I'm just going to walk you through how I determine the song's chords, the rhythms, and how I go about playing through the song. So let's listen. Uh, I'll try and have a running commentary. So, so I, I, I hear it this note. And what I did there was I tried a D minor, but that's not correct. That's not what I heard. So what other chords contain a D? A G minor? And that's incorrect as well. There. D, B, F sharp. That's my B minor, B minor. So Right, that's the first part in determining what the song is, figuring out the key that it's in. Is it a major or a minor? Sounds like a minor. It's a bit morose. And then figuring out, based on some playback, what that chord is. I know that the song center right now is B minor. That's going to dictate a bunch of other things. I know that given a B minor, the chords that are next to it, the song's going to likely contain an E. It's going to contain an F sharp because they're right next to it. Maybe an F sharp minor. It's going to contain maybe an A major, maybe a D. But again, the song's heart is B minor. The song will probably not have an F major. It will not likely have a C major because we're in B minor. So... That sounds like a scale that's going to weave through the song, but let's keep listening. That's B minor. They change to an E minor. I'm just trying to play back what I hear. Two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four. A plague in the workhouse, a plague on the poor. Now I'll feed on my drum till I'm dead. So I'm going to do a playback exercise. Because I know the notes in those two chords, B minor, B, D, F sharp, and E minor, E, G, B, I know that those notes will likely be what the melody of the song is. So to figure out the melody, I'm not pressing C, sh I'm not pressing C, I'm not pressing somewhere around here. I'm going to try and figure out. Right? F sharp, F sharp, D, 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 C sharp. Given those first given those first notes of the melody, I have an F sharp, a D, and a B. There's my B minor voicing, my B minor triad. Now I'm switching chords to an E minor. My fingers are already lining up because likely the melody will, will involve those notes. So and we're landing on the G because the G is part of that E minor chord. That's how chords and notes are related. Let me keep listening. Um, let's go to the verse because I, I be, I be to the chorus because I believe the chorus is different. So
write a beautiful little da 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 da. A nice little. I'm looking for patterns. It goes. Right. Ti da 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 da. Let's keep listening. Um pa pa um pa pa. So Walt. The bass is not quite, I'm playing it simple, but it sounds like they're doing Right, I'm pressing the full chord, right? I like um papa um papa just for solo playing, but let's keep listening. I'm listening fast forward to see when the song changes. And uh, how I know the melody B minor D and F sharp do, 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 do. there's my E minor let's keep going Changed. The melody changed, the chords changed, it sounded like it resolved to a major. Let's listen a bit more closely, I'll rewind. Ta. I'm given an A. Is it an A major? Is it a D major? It's a D major. We see this kind of chord connection a lot. We were in B minor. Da, 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 e minor to D major. It resolved itself beautif beautifully. We see this a lot in Moscow Nights. We see this a lot in Bella Ciao. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we, we see it in Katyusha. We see it a lot in those kinds of songs. Maybe not Bella Ciao. Katyusha and Moscow Nights. Do, do, do. Let's keep listening. I'll say. Let's keep listening. I'll say. What chord is that? Do, do. Maybe an E minor, but probably not. Do, do, no. Do, do. Do, 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 do. He loves the walls of the well, I'll see. It's not a major or a minor, at least I'm not hearing it. It might be the A. Let's listen a bit more. Sing 
So we have three chords. Let's give them as D major. Uh, a major on the left hand. And it's an A major in the right hand, but the melody is on the D. To E minor. And it's an E minor major 7. Because it's a G over an E minor. Let's keep going. Ba-ba-ba. So. Maybe it went to the E minor. Let's listen. Is it C sharp? What chord is that? It's like a minor over a major. Maybe it's just a, a minor. Listen again. Let's do that. So a, a few times it goes D, A major, E minor, right? How did it go? What was the melody? Uh. minor changes to that ba -da 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 -da. is it minor now Let's listen. Oh, I skipped. What happened? I minimized the song. Do, 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 do. So. It's funny, they're not hitting the C or the C sharp. They're leaving that A ambiguous. We're just playing the one and the five. So together. What 
was that last one? Yeah, I played it. Da 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 da. Beautiful. I understand the song. I hope you understand the song as well. How did it start? So we have different parts of the song. They're all based around that B minor. So the song started off with... Right, so we have five chords in the whole song. B minor, E minor, D, and an A major or A minor. And then we come back to the E minor. So how do we go about learning this song? Just like we do every other song on accordion, love or not, we need to know how to express those chords and their voicings. Can you land on that B minor? If so, if not, Practice building majors and minors. If so, practice your B minor triads and arpeggios together and separate. And do that for each chord, E minor. Left hand, can you jump between B minor and E minor? Can you do a waltz pattern? Yep. Yeah. Can you go to the B minor to D major or E minor to D major? Right, you know how to switch between the chords of the song. Once you have that, you could start doing a playback exercise, just like I did, with the melody of the song, right? Um, find the sections of the song that are difficult, play them over and over again. Once you know the song, take it section by section, start introducing hands together. And really the magic of the song is in its dynamics, right? It starts off really quietly. So play with your accordion and it sounds. Uh, Eventually, right, we start. 
start to play with dynamics, with silence and volume and all of the trills and ornaments that uh, we learn over on accordionlove.com. Check out the forums. Sign up for a free three-day trial. We have other Beirut songs with sheet music and lessons, but really this is how we approach learning a song so you can make it your own. Let me know if you have any questions. Enjoy. Thank you for the song suggestion.